good morning to another beautiful day in Barbados. Hope you're all well. I've cut off the video for the three days. We're now in day four. So what do we start at? Four, two, four, five, six. This is four, two, seven. I think it's more than that. But anyway, who's counting days when you're in Barbados in this beautiful weather? So the cottage, that's been our main aim. We have had a little bit of an issue in the pump room, which I'll tell you about in a second. Um, and we've had a little bit of light rain every now and then, but in general, it's all good. The landscapers didn't turn up, so we need to chase them. Um, the one is due in today. So, let me show you what we actually did during the week in the cottage. Okay, so, toilet. The system is in. The only thing we haven't got at the moment is the water. They came yesterday, but they didn't have the uh, right equipment. So the toilet is now bolted down. The shower, not as good as I would like it to be, but the shower is in, functional. Again, the stain, the, the stain, the galvanized elbow in here was slightly off. So as you can see, the arm is slightly leaning to the left. I don't want to go bending it, that's for sure, but that's one thing that I'm not happy about. That is slightly pissed, I'm not happy about that too. That is slightly out, I'm not happy about that either. But it is what it is. The tiles are in, obviously I've got those tiles in. The grouting, unfortunately, is a little bit thick. I can scrape some of it back, but we'll do that later on today. But as you can see, that's in. That's all good, all work and functional. Handles open on the door, on, on, the, um, on the little cupboard there, which I told you about the other day. Windows hung, waiting for the electrician to, to uh, plug that in. But she's up and centralized. Windows on route, so hopefully we'll get that put in at some stage. And then we'll obviously, once we've the plumber's finished doing this, we can get this cut, fitted, um, and filled and plastered. Because what we want to try and do is take the paint right through the whole of the cottage. So Sherman is in here, busy, busy. Up ladders. So at the moment, what Sherwin's doing is actually filling some of the movement cracks we've been having uh, with spackling sort of um, filler, just so we don't have to repaint the ceiling and then going around all the walls and just touching up any holes that we've got made or created. Um, again, movement cracks all the way up through the middle. This was obviously the wall that we built, so obviously it's gonna settle as well. So we had a crack up here and a crack down here, so that's all filled. Um, tape on the wall where there's a few other bits that we're gonna fill. That's gotta be fixer foamed in and uh, screwed in, and then we can get a little finish pot onto that. We're not gonna put the little kitchenette here for a, for, for a while. It's just gonna be left empty. Um, and with regards to the floor itself, what we've decided to do with this, we are going to take it up initially, um, but we're going to put, only take it up to put the insulation down, which will pin down, and then this is going to go back down this side upwards, and we're just going to paint this white for now. That's what we're going to do, and then that will give us a bit of time to decide what floor we want and, uh, and how it looks. So, yeah, we'll go with a white um, semi semi gloss on here so we can wipe it, and that should make it look nice. We'll get that scrubbed. Um, and to get that sealed with the, uh, the waterproof repellent sealer that we've got over the road. So that will darken and become quite shiny. But we obviously want to try and get that cleaned in in the first place. If anybody on the island knows anyone that does industrial floor cleaning with one of those machines that's got the big Brillo um, sort of abrasive pad that goes on the floor, please let me know. The guys we used hired one in the end anyway. He says, look, the rain comes hacking down. Um, so yeah, it's... Um, they, they, they hired one in and they weren't very good, so I don't really want to go bringing them again. So we need to um, need to get someone out that can do it, that's for sure. So if anybody knows anybody, let me know in the comments below. Um, with regards to the pool room, um, I'm not too sure what opened down there. We've got a bit of rain, so let's have a look. I'm not too sure if it's open. But anyway, we've got a little leak on the elbow down here. It is open, yeah. So we have, a, we, have a, we have a feed that comes in. So as you can see, we've got a bit of water in it. We've got a crack on one of these elbows, which is leaking. So we've turned the, water, the mains water off for now. So we're gonna have to fix that. But in idea, I wanted to tap there anyway. So it gives a good idea to put a, a T-junction here, tap on top, redo the elbow. Fingers crossed it's the elbow over here. No, my luck is that one there. Uh, but anyway, that's gotta be done. Um, but yeah, we started seeing a little bit of water in there and we couldn't work out where it was coming from. We started thinking it might be leaking from above again, but no, it's just in there. So, 
welcome to my world. So we'll get that done today. The plumber should be coming hopefully to, do, to finish off the toilet and install the pumps. So that's one thing we need done. We still haven't had those put in yet. So we've got the English pump that I told you guys about. Um, not too sure if I actually showed you what we're going to be doing. Um, but there's a, there's a pump that I bought in from the UK, which I've already shown you guys on the video. That's going to be our main feed to the house. And then we're going to have the big pump as a standby on the tanks. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan at the moment. So they're going to be coming in. We've had the electrics put in. Um, obviously we have an, an, an extra electric run down there for the other pump. Um, so that will go in, um, that will go into the mains itself and the blue pump will go to the tanks. The tanks will be shut down, the pump will be turned off and it will be for emergencies basically. But what we'll do every maybe two months is just switch over to the tanks, use the water in the tank, get it filled back up again just so it doesn't go stagnant. Um, so that's the aim with that. So hopefully they're going to come today and get those two pumps put back in again. Um, yesterday they didn't have the fittings. so. Um, they're going to go and get the fittings and come back. So yeah, that's that's where we are today so far. So it's literally filling in here, getting this ready for a good lick of paint. We want to get this completely white in here. Once that's done, we'll get the, uh, the skirtings done second, then we'll scrub the floor third, and then we'll paint this one fourth, and then make sure that there's no dust, tools, dirt, so we don't actually get anything uh, bad again. But again, the actual window um, surrounds um, doors around, they've all had to be redone. And obviously we've still got the issue here because the window still hasn't arrived and they've also broken one of my windows apparently. So um, they're all en route, but there's a pane that's gonna be coming missing because they've broken it. Again, welcome to my world. So um, they're coming, speak of the devil, and the plumber should arrive. So the plumbers are here. How are you, you good? So they're gonna start off, so they're gonna get the toilet connected up so we can get that running. Um, and then we can box out and finish that off. The pumps will be done today, which will be great. That means we'll have um, a bit more pressure on our water in the house, which is definitely needed. Um, and hopefully by the close of play today, we'll have in here completely filled and sanded, ready to be painted tomorrow. That's the aim anyway. So I'll check with you later on. In the meantime, don't forget to give me some um, comments and love below. That'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, I'll update you for that. Thank you. Okay, so we're at 17 minutes past four. Day is finished. Okay, so we're a lot more filled everywhere. We've got some more paint. I've actually bought some of this as well. So when we actually get the floor done, we can actually put this down. It's like a protector that goes on the floor, like a vinyl, sticky vinyl. Not sure I've got enough. Um, I've got the concealed hinges for the um, the latch downstairs for this. So we're going to cut a four, four foot by four foot latch out of here. And have a doorway that comes up and down and have concealed hinges in here and here um, so i'm going to get that um, done potentially tomorrow might be next week don't know yet um, and here is pretty much finished off the plumber came out earlier on the toilet is in I'm not sure if it's flushing i've just got here but the water is all now in connected up sewage pipes on i'm assuming it's all done i would have thought they were tested before they went Water in it yet. But I think what they're doing is they're uh, they normally let them go off um, any of the any of the actual um, cement as they call it, but the glue they use on the pipes. You give it as long as you can, make sure it dries 100%, and then run water through it. So that's pretty much done now. So we'll get this place emptied out tomorrow of all the tools, get that boxed up, um, get the corner beads on, get get that filled ready for sanding, um, and then we can. Uh, Hopefully at the same time as running paint right through here, then we can obviously get the paint obviously taken right through into here as well. Um, on the floor itself, like I said earlier on the camera, and what I'm gonna be doing is running the white paint over this as an undercoat. And then I've actually bought this from Sherman Williams. Again, in the same um, light gray as we've got outside on the steps, etc. This is like a porch and floor enamel. So it's like a satin paint. So hopefully it'll be a bit harder wearing. So I'm basically gonna get those painted. But before I do that, like I said in the video, Take those up, get the insulation down, boards back down, screw it right down so we've got a bit of insulation and a bit of soundproof on it. Um, and then obviously make sure it's screwed down properly around because at the moment there's only sort of um, four corners, maybe two in the middle. We'll get more screws in there and then get that whole thing painted um, in a grey. So it should, you know, should complement here. And then obviously the, uh, the beach sheets are in as well. So we'll get those delivered to our cutter. Um, and once they're cut, then we can um, start making this partition as well, which will look quite nice in here. 
Sherwin's taken that off the wall, which is good because um, we've got a bit of an issue here with um, width. So we're gonna have to cut that one back as well and then we'll put a new um, PVC piece on there rather than the um, MDF. So that's gonna go on tomorrow as well. So hopefully by tomorrow, everything will be on, everything will be filled. Um, and off the back of everything being filled, we can literally start whacking white paint right through. And we will be using dust sheets if it kills me. That's it so far. Day one of what will day two, um, a, a two day tomorrow, uh, Thursday and Friday, is done and dusted. So I will check in with you guys bright and breezy tomorrow. Uh, for now, let me, give me a thumbs up below before I go. And um, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning to another bright and breezy day. This is obviously day, I guess day two. Um, I filmed on Thursday, we did some work Friday and Monday, and we're now on Tuesday, so welcome. Um, like I said, I don't want to bombard you every day, so um, I think we left you last week with us actually prepping the uh, cottage. So I'll take you in and show you what we've been doing in there. Uh, we have the air conditioning guys here who are actually delivering the product with a view to prepping the install on the front half of the house, which is awesome. Um, and uh, the bathroom is pretty much done. So last time I checked in, obviously we were just having some of the bathroom bits done with the plumbers, etc. So that's all done. So let me quickly take you in and show you what's going on. Okay. It's had a bit of rain today, as you can see, but it's drying up quite quickly. Air conditioning condensers are over there, as you can see. Okay, so in here, we just spent the day just clearing up, wiping all the walls, getting all most of the black marks off, um, taking all the furniture off of the uh, sockets and switches, getting them taped up ready for painting. That one's gonna be done as well. Um, and uh, we're going to be taking this floor up and putting this insulation down, which I told you. So we're gonna staple the insulation down on the floor on across the joists, and then we're gonna put this boarding back down. So hopefully, um, thickness-wise, it will be okay. So um, it's quite, uh, it's not very thick, but obviously it's gonna be quite spongy. So hopefully we'll be able to get this down and fire some screws through. So that's if the screws are long enough. So we'll test it first. It's not essential, um, but obviously having some form of damp proofing, so damp proofing, noise proofing, um, would certainly be better. Uh, although we've had the new unit put downstairs now, which is a lot quieter. So um, when that kicks in, it really doesn't, um, doesn't make a great deal of noise, which is good. So we shouldn't have an issue in here. And then what we're gonna do with these, we're gonna get these cleaned off and then anything that's not meant to be on there scraped off. And then we're gonna paint this and we've gone with a light to gray. So that's what we're gonna do there. Um, we're in the midst of just obviously just finishing off everything else. All the little marks that you can see on the walls um, are where we've um, filled some um, imp impurities and stuff like that. So that's all been done. Um, the bathroom itself is coming together nicely. So the cistern is now in ready for sanding. Um, showering if it's done, which I've already showed you anyway. Walls have been cleaned. Skirting has been put on, which obviously needs to be um, corked. Mirror is now off the wall because obviously we're ready to sand that down and get ready for painting all around that as well. Electricians have still got to actually run the power uh, from this socket to the mirror itself. That's something they're in the midst of doing. They've been here yesterday um, looking at the actual pool itself and the uh, LED strips, which um, I think Dave asked about. So yeah, Dave, we are on that. Um, on that note, let me show you very quickly. Let me get the track out. Where is it? There's one. So. This track has got a very slight um, floor in the bottom of it, which means we could get a cable if it was thin enough into the bottom. But I think what they're looking to do is to spread around um, the connections. So I think they're talking about taking a hole through here, a very end here, down into the pump room and putting some of the dry up, running the cables along underneath the pool back up to here. Uh, they're thinking that there won't be enough room to have all three drivers in that little box. So we'll connect the, the third one to here um, and we'll run a cable from here where the second one finishes along this track. Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong track. This track, <laughs> all the way along here, alongside the third one or the first one, and then punch both through the floor. So as you can see in here, there's a little bit of a gap either side. So we need to try and get a cable thin enough that can actually slide in between the two. That's the aim. Um, if not, then I'm not too sure what we're gonna do now. So, we're gonna to have to fix the tracks down at some stage in the next week. Um, so, um, again, we need to drill the holes and then we need to get some either roofing rubber or some decent silicon. Um, and then we need to obviously silicon in there, put the track down and screw it down so it literally becomes completely waterproof. But I think what we're gonna to have to do in the meantime is just go around and fill in some of the imperfections 
um, that the Tyler guys had. As you can see here, it's only minor, but there's a gap in between this tile here. So anywhere we can see a gap, there's quite a few when it gets down to about here. Um, I mean, that, that tile itself is literally on the corner. There's nothing underneath it at all. So I'll get my finger right underneath it. Look. So we need to get some tile adhesive around um, the tiles before we do it. We've got to make sure we don't get any rain that day, obviously. And then just silicon and screw them down. So that's that's pretty much the tracks. So fingers crossed the electricians will come up with a, a decent cable that enables us to do that. Um, and then the thought process is once this is all done, what do we do with the patio floor? Any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, it's not bad, but it's not pretty. So we are thinking about potentially putting some form of stain down, but the stain itself has to be decent enough, one, to wipe two doesn't come away from a polished surface and three isn't too dark you can walk on this no problems at all when it's hot but as soon as you start getting to a, a, a color like this bloody hell it burns your feet so do we go with a white do we go with an off-white do we go with a really light gray um you know we've done it here for instance it looks absolutely amazing so it changes the look of the floor straight away so what color do we go for guys let me know in the comments below what you think um, we have a lot of white a lot of light color so it is going to be a bit of a death by white if we go with that sort of color but again um, it's got to be functional and it's got to be uh, got a better walk on it so let me know your thoughts um also as you say it's got to be reasonably rubberized so that it can wipe and doesn't get stained because we do get a bit of water settlement here and obviously it does create stains so let me know your thoughts if there's anyone in the island that you know that's got a product then let me know so i can go and have a quick look sherwin williams is probably one of the best bets i think i'll go down and have a chat with them and see what they say but i think i might even chat with the american guys because they seem to know a little bit more about um the product bear in mind it's an american product pump room downstairs um we did have a leak on that so I'll take you down there very quickly i don't think it's actually open no it's shut but one thing we have done we had the pipe put here so that yeah because i was just getting to a point where we were always getting dirty walking up the steps so we've had that put in just so we can obviously wash feet off um in here, we did have a split on the elbow, so the, the water pipe coming into here, there's a pipe behind this door, the elbow split and it was leaking in there, so we've had that elbow done, and we've also put another um, pipe in there as well, so that guys, when they come to clean the pool, have actually got a pipe they can use um, to clean out the filters, which hopefully won't be around here, because that's where they seem to be dumping it, so we'll get that sorted. Um, what else have we done in that time? Obviously, we've had the pumps put in, pumps are in, they're installed, so the old pump is now connected. I've actually had the ladder out, so I can't show you. Um, but we've had the old pump. The old pump's been put back in. And then up here, we should be just about to see the cable. Just about to see the cable in there, the other one's in there as well. So um, one is on and one is off. Um, the big old pump is connected. The tanks, um, which are both off. So the tanks are off and the pump is off. Um, and they'll remain in that place until maybe sort of four to eight weeks and then we'll shut the new pump off, the new water supply off, run down the tank and then once that's empty we'll open them back up again for them to fill, shut them off and go back to them. So we'll just alternate between the two so we've always got four to five hundred gallons worth of spare water in case there's any problems. Um, yes, yeah, so have a quick look at the air conditioner. Let me put this back down. Quickly have a look at the air con part. So Sean has actually got some stuff being delivered. So let me quickly show you quick. So these are the big condensers. So we've got some Goodman condenser units that have been put down there. So again, they're around this corner here, which is out of the wind and out of the rain most of the time. So fingers crossed they might survive. Again, they always make them out of metal. Why? I don't, don't understand why they make all these bloody great units out of metal. Metal obviously is always outside and certainly something in the Caribbean. You have lots of problems. So anyway, that's the units. Um, and Sean's actually taken all the parts downstairs ready for the install which will end up being punched through here and fed into the basement. Other than that, um, that's pretty much where we are for now. So I'll update you throughout the day and finish this video off tonight and load it and then carry on filming for the rest of the week. So in the meantime, don't forget, give me a like and subscribe if you can. Keep those comments coming. Dave, Trevor, um, Catherine, there's a few of you. Thanks very much. And I'll check in with you a bit later on today. Thank you.